If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello number block fans, today we're going to create number block play-doh shapes 1 to 5. Just like the Flatland episodes, we are going to create the 2D shapes and the amount of sides of the shape is related to which number block it would be. So first we're going to create number one. Number one is usually represented in flatland with one line, which makes a circle, as it has one side or one curved edge. So to make number block one as a circle, you'll need some red Play-Doh, and you could use a circle cutter if you like. So the first thing we need to do is roll out the red Play-Doh and then cut out a perfect circle and remove the excess play-doh now we have the base for number block one as a circle so now it's time to do the eye so for number block one's eye just repeat the process with a smaller red circle then repeat the process with a little bit of white play-doh you can use a cutter or just mold it out as long as it is smaller than the previous circle and then you can neaten it up with a little play-doh knife and then do the same again with a little bit of black play-doh and then the same again with a tiny piece of white play-doh just off centre to look like the shine on his people. Next for number block one's mouth just roll out a little red sausage and slightly curve it and flatten it and pop it just at an angle then groove out a tiny little line indentation in the mouth you can either leave it like this or roll out a tiny piece of black play-doh and place it inside the indentation and then lastly get a tiny piece of white play-doh and do the same and place it halfway down to mimic his teeth and there we have our number block wand as a circle with one round edge. So next for number two, we will do a two-sided shape, which is a semicircle, which is one straight side and one curved edge. So we're going to use orange Play-Doh for number block two, or number block two as a semicircle and a circle cutter again if needed. So same again, roll out the Play-Doh. So I'm going to roll out the orange Play-Doh and first of all just cut it into a circle just like before. Now once we have our circle I'm going to cut it straight down the middle and just cut it in half to create our semicircle. Next I'm going to use the purple play-doh and create two little ovals of course you can use cutters and make a bigger version if you like I'm going to just mold them with my hands to make his glasses and then place it next to the other one then we need to create some little pieces or little blobs or small little squares in the middle and at both edges to represent his glasses smooth it off as best I can and then place two smaller white ovals inside the purple ovals to represent his eyes and I'm going to use a pink play-doh to make a little sausage mouth again and then just like before I'm going to place it down and put a groove into it and then two little black pieces for his eyes and then I'm going to do the same again with the mouth, just a little tiny sausage. He's going to have a closed mouth. And then two little tiny white dots for his eyes, just to mimic the glare in his eyes. So here we have number block two as a semicircle with one straight side and another curved side. 
Next we have number three. And for number three, we need three sides. So that would be a triangle. So a triangle has three straight sides and three corners. As long as there's three straight sides and three corners, you can make the triangle how you like. So we're going to use the yellow play-doh to make a regular triangle. You could also use the triangle cutter if needed. So just like before, we're going to roll out some play-doh. Then I'm going to cut out a triangle and remove the excess play-doh. So next I'm going to use orange play-doh. You could use a circle cutter or just mould out a little flat circle and place two of them for number block three as a triangle's eyes. Then do the same with white play-doh but slightly smaller. And place them inside the eye and then the same again with black play-doh, just a little bit smaller. And then last but not least on the eye, a tiny bit of the white play-doh so number three has a glare on her eye. Now put a red shaped play-doh sausage on number three's mouth and place in a little black line for a smile and I'm going to put some teeth in number block three so I'm going to place a tiny little white sausage there then I will place a very small one underneath to mimic a big cheesy grin for number block three. And number block three has three straight sides and three edges. Here we have number block four and we're going to create a four sided shape that has four straight sides and four corners. You could do a rectangle or a square, which is a special kind of rectangle as all its sides are the same length. You could also do a parallelogram, a dart, a kite or trapezium. So I'm going to use some lighter green play-doh for number block four and I'm going to make him as a square today as number block four loves squares. So just like before, remove all the excess Play-Doh. And now that we have our square, make two smaller squares with a cutter or just cut them out with some dark green Play-Doh and then place them here for eyes and make two little rectangles out of dark green Play-Doh as well and put a little dint in the middle. For his eyebrows and then a dark green sausage for his mouth. I'm going to put a little dint in there and then two smaller white play-doh squares inside his eyes. And neaten them up and then I'm going to get a black little sausage and place it in his mouth for his smile. Then I'm going to use the black play-doh again and create his pupils in his eyes. So two little small circles and then two little tiny white circles for a 3D glare and then a tiny little strip of white play-doh for his teeth. And there is our number block four as a square with four equal straight sides and four corners. So last but not least we have number block five. So we're going to create a five-sided shape which is called a pentagon. Traditionally pentagons are like this, with five equal sides, however they could be irregular as you like. So we're going to create a standard pentagon with the light blue play-doh. Now you could use a pentagon cutter if you have one, but I'm going to just cut one out. And then take away the excess play-doh just like before. And then for number block five as a pentagon's eyes, we will need a star. So I've used a star cutter to cut out a blue star and then a circle for the other eye. Then place in a white Play-Doh circle in each of them. 
and a pink sausage for number block five's mouth. Then place a little indentation in the mouth and put in a little black sausage and then two black pupils for number block five's eyes, just a little bit smaller than the white bits of Play-Doh. And then two little white pieces for the glare. And there we have our finished number block five as a pentagon with five straight sides and corners. And here are our finished number block shapes. So here is number block one with one side as a circle, number block two with two sides as a semicircle, number block three with three sides as a triangle, number block four as a square with four equal sides as a square, and number block five with five sides as a pentagon. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning shapes and numbers with us and playing along with Play-Doh. We hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye-bye.